Alrighty. I like how you can see it kind of because of the light, the way the light's hitting it. It's okay, we're gonna take care of that. What's up, Andres? How's it going? So, pretty simple today. We have uh, the angel already down with FBS gold mask on both sides, right? And all I'm going to do is we're going to kind of just take it section by section. Obviously, um, if you guys remember the stream from last week now, uh, this is a demon that lights up their skulls. Uh, you can kind of see it there, like the skulls and stuff in the back with fire, kind of representing hell. And then we got an angel that's going to go over it. So during the day, you'll be able to see the angel, you know, and then at nighttime when you're out cruising around, you flick on the, the Lumilor, and it's going to be a demon actually sitting here. So her hair kind of will turn into some horn, a horn, and then her face gets all crazy, and yeah. So the goal today is to try to get this in there real nice and easy. And we're going to use candy colors, and we're going to use marine blue and um, Caribe blue. What's up, Chris? How's it going? I haven't tried it yet. I'm, I'm going to wait till the weekend, I think. I'm gonna make my wife wait till the weekend. Because I don't want her to be like, mm, this is really good. And then, you know, 30 minutes later, <laughs> she misses work and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know how strong it is, so we'll see. But I'm excited and thank you, sir. I might, I might have a, a Tumblr stream or two coming up. <laughs> Big Benzo, thank you for making videos. Oh, you're, you're very welcome, sir. Thank you for watching. That's all I could ever ask. Oh, let me uh, turn this down here. I don't know what's going on with my headphones. This is the music's like. <clears throat> what type of paint you use it for it to grow? For it to grow? <laughs> Jesse is going to drink it all on you. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to be like, oh, no, I just, you know, just a little, a little, little sippity sip or something. She's going to be like, oh, I want to take some shots, 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 shots. <laughs> so I told her she has to wait till Saturday, though, because then she don't have work on Sunday, so. <laughs> Alright. So I've loaded up the marine blue. And I tried to give these airbrush kind of a, a pretty good rinse before we I started loading paint in them, so hopefully they stay acting up good. For it to glow, so it's it's not glowing. That's the first thing. When something glows, it means that it's taking the light that you see here, collecting the energy, and then you know sending it back out as light. That's how stuff glows. This lights up like a light bulb. So yeah. Oh, here, let me move this camera so you guys can see me. I'm over here talking. You know, so this is more like a light bulb. It actually lights up. You can control it with a switch. So that's that's the first thing. I already, yeah. You're not the first person. I, I was at a car show already, and somebody already said the same exact words that you said to me. How are you making those paint jobs glow like that? Yeah, it's not glowing. It's lighting up. And this is gonna, <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be a, an ongoing thing, but um, no, it's 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 literally electric paint that when you apply electricity to it, it lights up. It 
that's that's the easiest way to put it. All right, that that's the least confusing, easiest way I have found to describe it. It's electric paint that lights up when you give it electricity. All right, so I'm gonna use some magnets here. I'm looking for all my other magnets that I don't see. I didn't want to have to use a big ass magnet for no reason. I had them right there with the with these magnets. No, what? Did they fall? Did they roll off? Where'd they go? I don't make any s oh, they're right there. Right where I said they was. Apparently when I looked the first time they were hiding and then they came out and said, Hey peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs> it's special neon paint. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you're not too far off. Neon is basically... The, it's almost kind of the same idea. Neon, though. I've seen how neon is done. and it, Neon is a little bit crazy. There's like mercury involved and shit. Yeah, it's... Neon is wild. So I have this uh, cloud stencil. Which I actually think I'm going to turn into one of the stencils uh, that I could offer. Um, it's a little cloud cut out and I'll probably make another one. And um, all I'm going to do is use that to put in some clouds in the background. It's nice and easy. for the edges and then I'm going to bring the, the Caribe blue or the Carib the Carib blue depending on you know how white you are I don't know <laughs> the Carib it's you know <laughs> it's it's spelt like Caribe so I'm going to say Caribe like the Caribbean you know maybe I'm just being stupid <laughs> Can you explain to me no more how does it work? So it is called Luminolor Paint, and um, you can just type it into the search bar and go check it out. They have videos and everything showing you how to apply it. There's, you know, you can just go and buy some and try it for yourself. I would recommend you take a class and learn how to do it because, uh, yeah, there's quite a few steps involved. But it, as far as I'm going to explain, is the electric paint lights up when you feed it electricity. <laughs> it's the easiest way to describe it, honestly. And actually, look here, what I'm going to do. Let's see, let's see what gets out of here. Um, which tape should I use? Give me this tape. I'm trying to decide how to do this, okay. Easiest way is this way. So all I'm gonna do, see this? This cut out here? I say we wanna make some sun rays coming off of her um, halo here, right? So we're gonna put this. But because we wanna do them in reverse, we wanna leave a glow there. All I'm gonna do is take just a little bit, just one little smack of marine blue, one little smack of the Carib blue. Take that off, bam, then we can move it over a little bit. Same thing, just a little smack. <laughs> Chris, oh my god. <laughs> oh, what's up, Air Todd? How's it going? Oh my god, Chris, that is an awesome explanation. 
I mean, it's, yeah. That's basically what it is, what Chris said. <laughs> I'm going to go along with it. Huh? That's exactly what it is. It's pretty close. Even that is putting it simply, I would say. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Just go look it up. It's called Lumilor. They have a YouTube channel. You can go see other projects that they've had done and, and people have done. I am not the only one. I am not like a, a wizard or a master on it by any means. I just started with it. This is my first bike. I am doing with it and probably be the only bike for a while until we get some more customers in that are interested in this product. Um, I have had a few people message and about getting their stuff done and stuff, but we'll have to see because right now is right now is the full swing of car and bike season, so a lot of the bikes going to repair in the winter and worked on. So that's really when we'll see some st stuff. But in the meantime, I have a few plans. And yeah, hopefully hopefully we can get a few projects in. <laughs> that, was <laughs> that was a pretty good explanation. Uh, But yeah, I mean, just go type it in the search bar. It's called Lumilor, just like it is in the in the stream title. And um, yeah, it's definitely cool to work with. It allows you to do some really cool effects and stuff. So if you are actually interested, just just do what I'm saying. Go in the search bar, type in Lumilor, look for channels that are called Lumilor. And there's one that has it like an official logo and stuff you'll see. And you'll have all the videos that people have done. It'll come up and you'll be able to see. There's a lot of cool projects I've seen that are pretty awesome. Live to ride, ride to live. <sighs> quick way of getting that little effect in there and I want to save this because I'm going to use it on the other side so I'm going to stick this right here. <coughs> cool. And then all I'm going to do is again just go around the halo.
Why I always be losing stuff right in my face right now? I know I had it. So once we finish this up, I'll turn down the lights and then we'll be able to light it up and see it transition from one to the other, which that'll be pretty cool. If the candies or a pack Createx are working better on it, is there no difference? Um, the reason I use the candies is uh, because I want... See, so... The reason I use the candies on the top layer is I want the light to shine through, you know, when you turn it on. I want the maximum amount of transparency. I don't want anything stopping the light from coming through. I mean, unless you do, right? Unless you do, then, then you block something out. But in this particular case, I want all the light from the back to just take over um, the painting, right? So the whole point is for it to uh, shine through. So that's kind of why I'm doing it this way. But on the bottom part, right, if, if you watch the first stream where I did the demon and all that, um, this this color right here that I've dubbed the Lumilor color, um, this actually I mixed up using the sealers, uh, the Createx Autoborn sealers. Um, and the reason is because the sealers actually block off the light the quickest and the fastest. So I use that, reduce it down a little bit, and uh, it works really good to block off the light. So on the bottom layer, you know, where you want stuff to be defined with the light, you use that to block off the light. And then on this top layer, you use the candies. So it, it's kind of a combination of both, I guess I would say. The opaques work pretty good too for doing the, the bottom. But um, just from my personal testing, the sealer works, works best. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <clears throat> so yeah, if you're trying to do this at home, you gotta remember that the, the light up layer is in opaques, and then the the top layer, the artwork layer that you you know the, what's visible during the day, um, candies work the best. Now I haven't really tried um, the one thing I I want to try, but I haven't got to is like mixing up. Um, like wicked colors with like 4050 you know how i was using that in the past and talking about how uh good it stuck to the surface well obviously it's gonna still do that but um the thing i wanted to try and that was a problem when i was using them and that why i was so happy when the the neo Pakes came around is that um is that uh they were like transparent right when you would um when you would do that mix like that it would become like transparent so I haven't really tried that and see what that does but that'll be cool to see too so I just know right now the candies give me the max, tra max transparency just right off the bat without having to do no special 
mix or anything, so. What's up, Wicked Insanity? How's it going? So we'll finish up this background. And then I'll give you guys a quick little... Well, actually, we could just finish this side, and then we'll, we'll do the light reveal. I have both sides to do, right? So I have this side and that side over there. So we're going to do both sides. I'm digging that cloud sensor, dude, to sell it. No, no, if anything, I would call this kind of like the prototype right now. I'm working on a design for it. Uh, a design for clouds and one for fur and feather kind of effects. <clears throat> like those are two specific ones I'm, I'm working on. And this is kind of one I just kind of made real quick just to see how well it would work. And it actually has worked really good on this uh, motorcycle set. I've been using it. I used it for this. And then I've been using it for like the other parts as well, like the, the fenders and stuff. So I'm kind of happy with this part, but I obviously you're not going to pay for just this little piece. I, I, you know, I'll probably include two or three pieces. Um, that way, um, you know, because I always try to make them worth the value and have some value to it. I mean, that's super cool, super easy. That, probably something that I it shouldn't have taken me so long to think about but put you on that list for them yeah I'll let you know when they go live over on the website again if you go over on mikesbrush.com um, you know we I sell those stencils and they're kind of pretty much as a way of helping the, the channel out right now um, but it is something that's kind of taking off and I do want to maybe do a little bit more more digging into selling products and stuff I just I that's not where I wanted where I started off with the stencils they were they were for helping out the channel and they kind of still are but um, I know a, a lot of people have just been recommending them to other people even if they don't watch the channel and stuff which is really cool um, and then like you see like um, I had somebody message me about this the other day. You see, one side's like paper, right? Like this side's like a paper side, and then on the other side, it's it's mylar, right? So like, I personally like the paper side because it kind of absorbs some of the paint and it helps it dry up faster. Like you see, we just sprayed on it and it's not wet. The mylar doesn't really do that. You gotta kind of wipe off the mylar, but the mylar adds um, life to it, right? So like these, this because it's plastic like this will last forever. Um, unfortunately the paper is gonna eventually come off it's not really held on by anything to be honest with you um, so yeah but if you don't like the paper you know you could always just take it off and it's a really thick uh, mylar stencil under there so you could use them with House of Colors you could use them with you know Createx obviously if you use spray them just like base coat or something like that you could use them like that I've had people message me and tell them they've used them using spray cans on skateboards and stuff like that to get cool effects. Um, so, you know, basically from there it's up to your imagination. And that's kind of why I'm like, man, man maybe we should uh, expand and, and do a little bit more with the stencils. But I've just been making them the way I kind of. I would like to have them, you know? <laughs> so that's kind of the only reason they have the paper backing and, you know, they come in a nice package and everything. And then I just make them easy to get. Like, you just go to MyExpress.com, they're 20 bucks. Like, nothing, nothing special there. Cool. Right on, man. Thank you, thank you, Chris. We got some nice cloud action there. We could start peel off this halo here. Just relieve that like that, nice and bright. And then 
then all we have to do is finish off this little corner over here. Ah! Jeez. I'm glad it slid off. It didn't just fall off. Heavy thing. Should sure cords have slack. <laughs> he said, ah! Alright, now let's just finish off the back of this feather over here. Or this ring. Something like that. Something like so. <laughs> Start off with the rings right up in the back of here. Move this guy out of the way, get these magnets out of here. Yeah, a dedicated sawhorse to both the tanks. So yeah, I used to have one, but uh, I kind of don't have space right now. I've been looking at that new uh, system that they have at Coast uh, with all the the different attachments and you have one for tanks and for helmets and all that and that would be really nice. I mean, I just have it sitting, it's flat in the middle, so I just have it sitting on that thing. It's not really a big deal. And it's only here for artwork, then it goes back on the stand in the booth or whatever, so. But yeah, that, that new stand from Coast, that looks really nice. Or, who is it that makes it? The, the people, same people that are making Flake King are making it. Yeah, it holds the tanks, helmets, and skate decks. The new Flake King easel setup. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, that thing looks awesome. I just, I have to, oh, the man, so much money lately. It's just so much money. Well, like just, not not the the Flake King easel itself, but just you know, I I have spent so much money. <laughs> I need to stop myself. I was I gotta be safe. I was the shiny guy. I knew nothing about airbrushing. Then we had a guy that did the airbrushing. Um, cool. Section by section. And it holds your drinks. 
Uh, I mean, I like me some water. Some coffee, you know? I'll put some coffee in there. Maybe an energy drink. Right now, I got my water right here. <laughs> I got you, Chris. I got you. What's up, Thomas? Airspace? I don't see airspace in here. Mr. Airspace. Where is he? I don't see him. Am I missing something or something? I don't know. Flaking a black Ford Ranger. Yeah, the, that's one of the main reasons I built a, um, a small spray booth, and I'm not doing, a, I'm not taking in vehicles anymore. It's because the flake and um, oh my god, what a what a dummy! I totally just did that. Um, the flake and stuff was just getting too too crazy. There's just too much of it everywhere. some more little details on them but for now we're just kind of getting on the shading in Mike is from outer space. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Where is this coming from, Thomas? What is going on? I know, uh, what's his name? Uh, Bill Kennedy changed the name of his channel to the airspace. I am not the airspace. This, this channel is called Mike's Brush because that's what happens here. You watch me use my brush. And um, that's probably how it's going to stay going forward. I did think about changing the channel name there for a second, not th not that long ago. I was thinking of putting something like uh, level 10 airbrushing or something stupid. Then I was just like, you know what? I don't really think people freaking care about the freaking name that much. People are just going to come and just hang out because they want to hang out. You know, I don't need to have, you know, the crazy extreme 3000 name or something, you know, just to bring people in. And that's kind of how I felt. So I just left it. And yeah, instead I made me a new, a new banner for the channel. It included, you know, just some companies that, that are just what I kind of feel are, are good companies and, and what I could stand behind. So. <laughs> I'm trying to make Mike laugh. <laughs> Mike space. I mean, I'm laughing. It was, it was funny. I just, I. I didn't know if you were confusing me with uh, Bill or not. I was just like, oh no. What did I, what has happened? 
But yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't. Bill has a smaller channel; it's, it's still growing, so he could probably still just get away with just renaming it and being fine. To me, though, it just it, at this point, it just seems like it doesn't even make it. it it's yeah. Is it really gonna matter all that much in the long run to me? It's like probably not. Probably not. My expression's here to stay. I grew up right next to a pinstripe shop in the Bronx and he was he was no. The pinstripe shop. What? He was known as Golden Arm, and it is what it is. Yeah, exactly. Like once it once it works, it just works. Just leave it. starting to look like a wing now yet yeah, or no <laughs> I like how even with all the lights like I literally have a spotlight right here the freaking 5,000 lumen stupid freaking light that's like crazy shadow you can see it change when I turn the, the luminar on on and off <laughs> We'll dim the lights though, once I'm done with, with this side and I'll show you guys what it's going to look like. What time is it? How? I need to actually keep track of how long I am live today. Because yesterday, I was live for four hours. Nobody said nothing. I mean, I don't, I don't mind being live for that long, but... I guess I was just having so much fun. them pinstripe for hours yeah I've I've only actually ever had the chance to watch somebody pinstripe once in my life or twice now uh, because at the rendezvous I guess if I would have wanted to just ignore everybody and just sit in the pinstripe room I, I probably could have but um you know that would have defeated the whole purpose of everything <laughs> but uh yeah I, I haven't actually ever ran into too many pinstripers in the shops and stuff like that. <clears throat> you will be on for 24 hours straight. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's alcohol, not crack, right? <laughs> you know what's funny too is I was Vice. I don't know if you're subscribed to Vice. I don't know when I subscribe to Vice. I don't usually normally watch their videos, right? They're usually like pretty outlandish or whatever. But today I get on, I come out here, I'm cutting stencils, I'm, I'm laying down this gold mask and all this. And uh, one of the things that came up on my subscriptions was a Vice documentary. 
about crooked New York cops. West New York. I was just like, what? What is this? Right? And I'm watching this. And then uh, the freaking doorbell rings. I go and I'm like, what the fuck is this package? <laughs> I had totally forgot, bro. And so I, I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then it's like, it, it had the, the Mike's Brush address twice on it. And I was like, from us to us? It's like, what the fuck is this? So then I open it, right? I'm all careful. I open it outside. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Somebody trying to prank me or something. Dude, I, I opened it, I saw the tumblers, and I was like, whoo! I was like, what the fuck, though? He must have knew, known I was watching his homies on TV or something. <laughs> like, the timing on everything was just, like, crazy. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> Did you cut tape for your pattern? No, this is FBS Gold Mask. Um... I don't know if you've, if you've never used FBS Gold Mask. I, it, like, all I did was, well, the reason I bought this little roll, which was uh, what I, they had at Coast at the time. Um, they had a, a really big 18-inch roll, but I, it was expensive. So I was like, I need it. I still need to buy Luminor and stuff. But I bought the 6-inch roll. And uh, if you've never used it, just go and buy the 6-inch roll. And you could run it through a plotter. You could freaking cut it by hand. Um... Somebody in the chat has said they've used the laser to cut it, and that it cuts really good with the laser. Um, but for masking and stuff, it's 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 better than masking tape. It's like it's like you know I don't know. A lot of times when I've painted something, I've I've used the masking tape and then kind of cut it out and and done it that way sometimes. And then sometimes you're doing that and you're like, oh, I wish this was just there was an easy way to cut this, you know. That's the gold mask. <laughs> the easy way is the gold mask. <laughs> um, so yeah. talking about the pinstriping off oh. uh, I only had to watch him one redoing a real show dump trip Wow nice 20% off today only on FBS through paint huffers oh dang that's actually a pretty good deal I might need to go order some I'll definitely be using more gold mask I know that this stuff is it's like crack forever shardist once you're using it it's gonna be hard to kick it if they ever stop selling this stuff I'm gonna have a, a hell of a time <laughs> I'm gonna be like use vinyl again I don't like using vinyl like <laughs> it's no nah, I just don't <laughs> Yeah, FBS. No, not FPS. FBS. Like, B. And we did. I used it in the Lumilor class. Uh, they had a little design cut out with it. And after I used it in the class, I was like, okay. Th I had already used them, watched it on stream, and I had heard about it and stuff, but I had never actually used it. Once I used it, I was like, oh, okay, this, this is dope. It's like, yeah, I don't know. You gotta try it for yourself, and then you'll be like, oh yeah, this is actually pretty good. It's not just like paper, it doesn't really rip like too easy. It doesn't stretch. So like these things, if you wanted to put them back, you could take it off and put it over here, and then do your painting, let it dry, and then put it back, and it'll be the same size. It won't stretch, kind of like uh, masking tape and stuff does like the vinyl does um, so if you wanted to keep working this like you could so.
The only thing was yellow though, I hate yellow. Uh, don't need it just to get the prize, yeah! <laughs> uh, yes, it is an angel. Uh, the thing may... Uh, if Mike were a W... What would be his name? Oh my gosh. I want to see the replies to this. A WWF. That's that's old school. You gotta remember this. So you guys gotta think of a name that goes with the old school. You gotta think like Macho Man. You gotta think Hulk Hogan. The Undertaker. <laughs> My WWF name. The Teddy Bear. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> The air hammer. <laughs> that's 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 a good one. Like a jackhammer. Change change the name of the YouTube channel to my WWF name for a day and upload a fake promo wrestling video. <gasps> What's up guys, this is Airhammer. Welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Would I gain subs or lose subs? I don't know. I don't know, man. Even I'd be like, hey, this, this, guy's, this guy's pretty good. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> no teddy bear. <laughs> Mike the air jammer. Oh, snap. <laughs> Jamming them airwaves. Come out on camera and it'll be like, This is Mike the air jammer. And I'm getting you off my radio waves. Get off. You take off in Los Angeles. You're not landing in Colorado. I'm jamming that radio, son. Nobody's gonna find you. <laughs> it's gonna be like the Bermuda Triangle on your ass. Nobody's gonna see it coming. Or going. Or where you went. Might as well call me the Magic Man. <laughs> a gal wrestler that actually has a Twitch channel. That's pretty dope. Airbrush R outfits like RVD. Um, I don't know. I've done a couple airbrush outfits, but for um, wrestlers. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they actually like ever used them or not, or what's the story. He is a death machine. That sounds cool. You know why they call me the magic man? Because I got these magic hands, boy. These magic hands. <laughs> I just remember how they'd always do those interviews, boy. They'd always be so outlandish with what they said. Like, I got these magic hands, boy! Uh, uh. <laughs> I'd have to come out there and do my signature phrase, though. I'd have to come out there and be like, BAM, son! Where'd you find this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, South American wrestling is way more fun to watch. 
Lucha Libre. Yeah. I used to love watching Mexican wrestling because it was, it was brutal. It was not like freaking American wrestling, man. They were bleeding for real. They were really trying to get the attention of that camera. Mike the Brush. He will sweep you off your feet. I'm coming for you, boy. You might as well call me the broom. They'd cut away to an interview of me. <laughs> They'd cut away to an interview of me, WWF, right? And I'd be out there in a janitor's outfit. Be like, oh, here we are with the janitor. Right? And they'd be like, oh, hey, how are you doing? You clean this up? And like, I ain't no fucking janitor. But you might as well call me that. Because I be cleaning shit up. <laughs> <laughs> totally bro I'd be coming up with some good skits but yeah the Mexican wrestling was crazy um, I remember El Octagon which is like the, the ninja he's dressed as a ninja every, every fight and that he would, they would like, man, it was brutal, bro. They used to fucking, the best way I could describe it was like somebody watched American wrestling and then they didn't realize all the stunts and stuff were like choreographed. So when you watch Mexican wrestling, it is still choreographed for sure. But there's certain times where you'd be like, did that guy know he was about to get kicked in the face? Like... <laughs> he said, I'm rolling on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, you see? I'd have the, I'd have the WWF, like, back, back, boy. Hey, yo, Vince McMahon. You ain't got shit, brother. I'm coming for you. These hands is gonna do work, Vince. <laughs> I just can't, bro. I, I can't right now. Back flipping off the top ropes. I'd have to have like a special move, you know, called called the air jammer, you know, where somebody tried to jump up against me, you know, and then I just stood up and like while they're still in the air, you know, like head bopped them. <laughs> like they're coming down and just ah, suddenly you know, throw them off their fucking balance in the air, like a tumbling or something. You just got jammed! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I, I, just, I could go all day with the fucking wrestling thing. Thank you, Thomas. You see what you started? See what you started, Thomas? Thomas, see what you've done, brother. Now I gotta use these hands. <laughs> Golden finger. Oh snap. Oh snap. Golden finger sounds serious. I like I like the way Thomas is thinking over there now. It's like, okay, I'm listening. <laughs> 
Walks in with his ring girl Jesse. You know Jesse would be all about it too. She walked out there with a thing of moonshine. I'm here to kick some ass. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jess is crazy, so don't don't mess with her. <laughs> Painting red furnaces, I went to the gas, and some fool called the cops thinking it was blood. Oh my gosh, wow. That looks really good, don't it? We haven't even got to the angel part yet. We're just on the wing. We're just on the wing. <laughs> My girl always says I have painted fingernails. So we went to a car show yesterday. And uh, first off, I went and grabbed some pants. Apparently, I grabbed the holy pants. I didn't know. Got a hole in the crotch area. Can't really tell. I don't really fucking care. I kept them on. Whatever. Um. But then we're, we're over there. You see this blue? I had some blue still on my hands, you know, because I had been painting all day before we headed over that little little car show. And um, so she's like, geez, why'd you paint your fingernails? It's like, <laughs> like, girl, girl, you get away from me right now. Thanks, Justice. Okay, we're almost at the end of the wing. I promise. And I won't bore you guys with both sides. I'll, I'll do the other side by myself to be. I also want to watch a movie or something. And, um, yeah, I want to take it easy. I have a shirt to paint as well, so I don't know. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll take a break from this for a second and paint the shirt. But I will make sure to make it all the way through this. We're going to make it together, guys. Together. I'll show you guys what it looks like when we light it up.
move on to her face finally. Got all the wing in there. Now let's get the space in here. <clears throat> oh, thanks, address. All right, so we've got this nostril. Marked off. Take off her main pupils. And uh, yeah, we can remove the hair. Some grunge effects, nice, nice. <laughs> he said, I'm blind in one eye, stop calling me. <laughs> That's funny. right now because we are just going to kind of come back and shade it in again. Just a regular paintbrush and do some like hair strokes once so I'm farther along. Like right over my shoulder, as close as right over the shoulder as I can get, but it still looks way different than what I was seeing.
some black wheat. Use it as a hair stencil. Black wheat, huh? That's, that's new. What's up, Bobby? How's it going? <laughs> What's up, Simone? One time my phone rang, it was an ambulance. <laughs> I'm having a heart attack. I'm in an ambulance. Call again. I'm lowering up. <laughs> Airbrushing the fishing lures while watching you live. Cool. Cool. Uh, I use my da Diablo 3. <laughs> and then hang up quick. Oh my gosh. Alright, so.
Man, boy, why are you such a beast, man? Why are you such a beast with it, man? Beasting is all I know. All I've ever done. I am a beast by nature. <laughs> I think it's because it's so bright up here that it makes the image seem so dark anywhere there's a shadow. I fucking hate that light. I'm gonna switch off that light. That is too much brightness. So because the tank curves, so you can even see it happen on the camera. So turn it this way, the, the bottom side right here starts getting black. Like right here. There's bright green tape all around it. Look, there's bright green ass tape all the way down here. But for some reason it looks black, which is making these colors look way, way different than what it actually is. I don't know, man. I fucking hate cameras. I'm done. I'm done, son. Um, so I'm using my uh, uh, my Eclipse and my Revolution today. That's kind of all I've been touching lately. I don't know. It really seems like the Eclipse doesn't really leave my hand most days. All right, so. She looks zombified right now, but once we clear out her eyes here, give her some life again. Good, but you know, do, do some little hair strands kind of coming through, get her eyebrows, her eyelashes, and all that good jazz in there. But I feel like right now, what we could do is check out the Luminor effect. So small, right? Because like this thing is just like her face is maybe two fingers. So and we're spraying with candy, which is a little bit thicker, you know. I don't want to reduce it up down all kinds, because if we get a run or any kind of splatter or split or anything like that on this, it's probably not going to be a good day. So 
let me turn off the lights real quick and we'll see what it looks like make sure it's off before I walk away ah, let me turn off these lights real quick You can't see anything in the camera dirty like this. But anyway. Yeah, what we can do. Right, so that's what you can see when you're driving around at night. So you're going to see the demon with the skull flipping you off and everything like that. And during the day, when there's light out, all you're gonna see is that. That to that. Boom. Set it to flash, right? So you set it like this. <laughs> ah! My gosh, yeah, I, I can't, I could do this all day and just be like, that's cool. That's cool. Look at that. Like, oh, there's a chick. Why oh, careful with her? She's the evil one. <laughs> there you go. That's the Luminor. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos um, with the Luminor stuff. Um, obviously, the next video is going to probably be the bike all put together. I'll put a nice reveal video all together. Um, the bike is still, you know, has a, probably like another week and a half of work um, to get it, you know, obviously we have to finish up the tank, gonna have to buff it, put the bike all back together and everything, make sure everything's nice and dry and everything, but the customer should have it back for a, a run that's coming up the first week of August, so that'd, that'd be the first show that this bike does, um, and I believe it's Red River, the Red River run? I'm not sure. I don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's. I think that's it. That is so dope. It's like ah, careful. She's evil. Careful, careful. She's an evil one. So I was actually talking to the owner of this bike, uh, which is my brother-in-law, right? Um, so he got a hell of a deal on this. Not gonna lie, but um, I was talking to him and I was like, yo, man, the perfect name for your bike would be hell's angel right because it's like an angel but it's like a disguise you know because secretly it's a demon you know it's like hell's angel then i was thinking you know what it'd be better if it was reversed if it was like heaven's demon you know that would be pretty cool <laughs> so yeah anyway guys um i'll get out of you guys' hair i'll let you guys get uh you know the rest of your day going or whatever let me turn these lights back on real quick and um <clears throat> yeah hopefully you guys had fun watching these i know it's been fun for me to just paint on the moon lore and just have fun with it um i don't know at least get a chance to just paint cool shit like this so the whole thing has been super awesome for me. I've really enjoyed the experience of painting on Lumilor and doing this whole bike. It's been about, it's like we're almost a month in on the bike, uh, on just three tins, you know, on just the two fenders in the tank. So, ah, uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, take a break, and come back, knock out the other side, 
Um, and if you want to see the finished results, make sure you follow me on Facebook or uh, Instagram. You know, it's the same, just Mike's Brush. Type it in there, you'll see it. Um, go ahead and give me a follow. And if you're cool, I'll follow you back. You know, you got to be cool, you know. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, you know, yeah, that's it. Pretty much it for me today. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later.